Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with High Stakes. Pittsburgh versus North Carolina. He Pitt Panthers have been a force to reckon with when they face the Tar Heels at home, covering the spread in two of their last three matchups. This season, Pittsburgh is absolutely lighting it up through the air, making it a real uphill battle for North Carolina's defense to contain them. With the Panthers ranking 47th in rushing yards allowed, we could be in for a quarterback showdown, as both teams will likely depend on their signal callers to march down the field. And when it comes to passing, you've got to give the advantage to Pitt, the ninth-ranked passing team in the league. But here's the kicker. The Panthers are coming off a bye week. They're rested, they've had an extra week to prepare, and they cruise past an easy opponent right before the break. Fresh legs, a sharp game plan, and home field advantage? I'm all in on Pittsburgh at minus three points. Now, let's talk totals. The last four meetings between these teams in North Carolina, they've all gone over 64 points. Both squads rank in the top 50 in points per game, and neither defense is exactly locking opponents down. They're in the bottom half of a league in points allowed. This matchup screams passing, and when the ball's in the air, drives are longer, faster, and packed with scoring opportunities. I'm rolling with the over at 64 points. Expect fireworks. SMU versus Louisville. This game is shaping up to be Louisville's ultimate revenge tour as they look to bounce back from last week's tough defeat. The Cardinals are primed and ready, boasting more depth and firepower on the offensive side. And in a matchup that has all the makings of a shootout, I'm putting my faith in Louisville's relentless offense to keep the scoreboard spinning. SMU's earlier loss to BYU, where they were a 12.5-point favorite, definitely raises some red flags for me. Meanwhile, Louisville has covered the spread every single time they've been listed as favorites this season. They're not going to let that streak snap, especially not at home, where they're hungry to avoid back-to-back -back losses. I'm locking in Louisville at minus seven points. Now, let's talk about the fireworks show we're likely to see in this one. Louisville has dropped at least 31 points in all of their wins so far, and SMU? They've hit 40 plus points in three of their five games. The Mustangs have also hit the over in three of their last four games, and both teams are bringing dynamic, high-octane offenses to the table. SMU's running back is averaging a ridiculous seven-plus yards per carry, and here's the kicker. Both starting quarterbacks have combined for just two interceptions in nine games. These teams don't turn the ball over, and they know how to move the chains almost effortlessly. Louisville, after last week's loss to Notre Dame, is going to come out fired up, ready to prove a point. With Louisville hitting the over in three of their first four games, and both teams having the offensive firepower to light up the scoreboard, I'm taking the over at 56.5 points. Expect a thrilling, fast-paced game with plenty of scoring. Wake Forest versus NC State. I'm rolling with the NC State Wolfpack to handle business at home, winning by at least six points over the Wake Forest Demon Deacons on Saturday afternoon. NC State is coming into this one with a 3-0 record against unranked teams, including an impressive win over Northern Illinois. Their only two losses have come against powerhouse programs, so they've shown they can take care of business when they're not up against top-tier opponents. Wake Forest, meanwhile, has struggled, dropping games to all three FBS schools they've faced, whether it's solid competition like Ole Miss or more questionable losses like the one to Louisiana. Even with Grayson McCall potentially sitting out another week, the Wolfpack haven't skipped a beat with C.J. Bailey under center. He's more than capable of leading this offense, and NC State's three wins this season have all been by at least a touchdown. With that kind of track record, I'm confidently taking NC State at minus 5.5 points to cover the spread. As for the total, I'm hammering the over at 54.5 points in this matchup between two conference rivals. Both squads have proven they can light up the scoreboard. Wake Forest has dropped at least 30 points in every game outside of their battle with Ole Miss, led by their savvy sixth-year QB, Hank Bachmeyer. On the flip side, NC State has shown they can put points on the board too, even dropping 35 in a loss to Clemson. Now, the issue? Neither team has really figured out how to play defense this season. 
Wake Forest has allowed over 30 points in every game against an FBS opponent, and while NC State has looked better defensively against unranked teams, they'll still have their hands full trying to contain Wake Forest's offense. This game is set to be a high-scoring affair, and I'm taking the over 54.5 points without hesitation. Expect plenty of action and a scoreboard that keeps ticking. Navy versus Air Force. Navy rolls into this matchup undefeated, ready to hit the road and take on an Air Force team that's been spiraling, dropping their last three games. The Falcons are having a brutal time getting anything going offensively, ranking near the bottom of the nation in points per game. In their latest outing, they fell to a Wyoming team that had just claimed its first win of the season. Talk about a tough look. While Air Force's identity is rooted in their run game, they just haven't been able to capitalize. On the flip side, Navy is also a ground-heavy team, but they've managed to mix in a respectable passing attack in their last two games. And here's the kicker. Air Force simply has no answers for the midshipmen on defense. While the Falcons will scrape together some rushing yards, it won't be nearly enough to keep up with Navy. Expect the midshipmen to dominate, control the pace, and crush Air Force, both straight up and against the spread. I'm locking a Navy at minus 10 points. This one shouldn't be close. Now, as for the total, I'm flipping the script from last season when these two met and the game went under. This time around, the story is different. Last year, Air Force was a ranked squad when they topped Navy, but this season they're barely a shadow of that team. Navy, meanwhile, has been an offensive powerhouse, ranking fourth in the nation in points per game, 49 PPG, and fifth in rushing yards per game. On the other hand, Air Force is ranked 132nd out of 134 FBS teams in scoring, but they did manage to scrape together 19 points in their last game. Here's the deal. Navy is going to score big again, especially facing a weak Air Force defense that just can't stop anyone. The Falcons won't do much on the scoreboard, but with the total sitting at a low 35.5, Navy might just clear that number on their own. That's why I'm confidently taking the over. Expect Navy to carry the load and push this game past 35.5 points with ease. Take the over 35.5 points and watch Navy run wild. Massachusetts versus Northern Illinois. There's a clear gap between these two programs and the UMass Minutemen just don't measure up to the Northern Illinois Huskies this season. One of the most glaring differences is in their ability to convert on third downs. UMass is managing just 39.02%, 32 of 82 in those situations, while Northern Illinois has been far more efficient, converting 46.03%, 29 of 63 of their third downs. And let's not overlook UMass quarterback Tyson Fomican, who's been struggling mightily, completing less than 50% of his passes in two of his last three games. That kind of inconsistency under center spells trouble. On the other side, Northern Illinois' quarterback, Ethan Hampton, has been steady and reliable, giving his team the upper hand in this matchup. The Huskies are the better team by a wide margin, and this game has all the makings of a blowout. UMass has simply failed to find any kind of rhythm this season, and Northern Illinois is poised to capitalize. I'm confidently backing Northern Illinois to cover the minus seven points with ease. When we dive into the defenses, it's clear both teams have been giving up their fair share of points lately. Over the last three games, UMass has allowed 29.3 points per game, while Northern Illinois has been a bit more solid, giving up 20.3 points per game. That said, both teams are capable of moving the ball through the air. UMass ranks 75th in the nation with a team completion percentage of 58.9%, while Northern Illinois is ranked 34th with 13.5 yards per completion. With both offenses showing they can air it out and defenses that aren't exactly locking teams down, Expecting this game to average around 11 points per quarter isn't asking for much. The over has cashed in three of the last five road games for the Minutemen, so we know they can put points on the board even in hostile territory. The smart money here is on the over 44.5 total points. Both teams should find the end zone enough to push this game past that number comfortably. Army versus Tulsa. The Army Black Knights have been an unstoppable force against the spread this season, sitting at a perfect 4-0. to zero. There's a reason for that. They're simply the more dominant program. Army's ground game is second to none, 
as they continue to flex their muscles as the most dominant rushing team in all of college football. The Golden Hurricane, they've struggled big time defending the run, allowing a whopping 187.2 rushing yards per game. That's a recipe for disaster against an Army squad that thrives on pounding the rock. To make matters worse for Tulsa, Army has had the luxury of two extra days of rest to prepare, giving them yet another edge heading into this matchup. Tulsa's quarterback Kirk Francis has been shaky at best, and now he faces a tough Black Knights defense that will likely make life even more difficult for him. Sustaining long drives against Army's disciplined unit will be a tall order, and that's where the game slips away for Tulsa. All signs point to Army covering the minus 12.5 spread, and I'm confidently backing them to do just that. They've been a well-oiled machine all season, and this game will be no different. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. These two teams don't cross paths often. This is their first meeting since 2007. That unfamiliarity will only add to Tulsa's defensive woes as they struggle to contain Army's complex running schemes. Army's third down efficiency has been lights out, converting 27 of 47 attempts, 57.45%, while Tulsa has faltered in key moments, converting just 31 of 78 third down opportunities, 39.74%. With both teams showing some offensive firepower, the over 50.5 total points is looking like the better play here. Army will put up points on the ground, and Tulsa will likely contribute enough to push this game over the total. Go with the Black Knights minus 12.5 points and expect a high-scoring affair with over 50.5 points on the board.